Is it working? Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back to some more uh, Shadows Over Loading over here. I can, can I get the chat disconnected message out? I know it got disconnected. Yeah, last episode we finished up our task, got a lot of meat, and we went and didn't use the meat to bribe the mobster. We instead just fought them with our grenades and our wits and skills. We managed to defeat them. And we got a lot of money now, so that's uh, that's pretty good. And yeah, we were going back to the Plunkett Street, but we got sidetracked to the boardwalk, so guess we'll see what's over here. It's holding up the hobo or vice versa. <laughs> Zach Fons, well, hi there, pleased to meet you, Zach Fons. I'm Dusty. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I met a lot of new people in my travels, so I got my name embroidered on my shirt for convenience. So what are you up to? Oh, nothing much, just hanging around. I was gonna run a free card mount down here on the boardwalk, but that didn't pan out. Why not? There's a fellow already running a game down the way, and I prefer not to step on his toes. It's just a matter of professional courtesy, I see. You see? I see. Also, because cry carnies get real scary about that kind of thing, and I ain't looking to be murdered anytime soon. Any way I can help? Yeah, kind of, yeah. I was still looking for a different corner. Can I spare a nickel for a cup of joe to get up my feet moving? Sure. A real good egg. Alright. A fortune teller's tent. The rest has an old woman sitting on a velvet drapal table. She points to a sign on the wall and says, Tarot readings, 50 meat. Complain about the price. You could buy 7 and 63, 64 gallons of gas for that much. Points to the sign again. Not no, thanks. I ain't paying 50 meat for that. What? Hat photography? Is adjusting a complicated looking camera on the tripod just to a nearby West baskets without looking around. If it's more bills, there's my inbox. Hello? Oh, you ain't the jumping Joe's fat baby. Where have you been all my life? Excuse me? That face, that's exactly the face I've been looking for. It's perfect. Thanks, I've grown rather attached to it myself. It's mine and you can't have it. You're funny too, baby, I love you. You're incredible. Listen, do you know who I am? Turn on your roof, says Tony Fiasco, hat photographer. That's right, baby, that's exactly right. And soon I'm gonna be the biggest hat photographer in the city. No, the country, no, the world. There's something I need first, a face. A portfolio, and you know what I need before I got a portfolio? A face, your face, baby. Don't you say no, don't you dare say no, baby. Listen, it's easy. All you gotta do is stroll in here wearing a hat, and all I gotta do is take a photography of that hat, and then we're both gonna be rich. Rich? Rich! With the portfolio, and with the 30 meat, I'm gonna pay you for every picture. Gotta be different hats, though. Gotta be different hat every time. I can't pay you for the same hat twice, got it? How about this hat? That's on Curse Fedora, perfect, I love it. Here's your meat, baby. Cause spending good health and come back soon. Do we have any other hats? Broken coconut. Can't remember where you got it. How's this? Ah, oh, broken coconut? Perfect! I love it! Ooh, easy money! Um... It's probably, um... The hat is still probably better, I think. Yeah... I think that's everything we have. He's looking at standing over a shade of his tiny building eaves. He glares at you silently. Okay. Hey, game! Step right up, step right up! Test your strength and your agility and your intellect. Every winner gets a prize. You there, scared to take out in 10 minutes? What's the challenge? I like to start off newcomer with something relatively easy. All you have to do is guess my age. Throw a dart to pop a balloon and drive a nail into this board with one swing of a hammer. At the same time? That's right. Care to try it? We need free to all stats. How with that attitude? Okay, we, we need some work before we get there. That's a bit ridiculous. First aid. Ooh, cooking for health. Heal targets and cure all negative stats. Max HP by 5. Gauze pad. Gauze turban. Well, we're 
kind of getting our money back for, for it. Hot armor. Okay, we can grab one. I will grab this. I will grab one of these two. Oh, we already had gauze pads. I'm dumb. Uh, it's hard to... Inventory is becoming a little bit unwieldy. Ah, oh, still can't do this. What the hell? They're all full? Oh, we can actually fish? Like, proper fishing. Can use to hold any fish you manage to reel in. Nice, we got the Sultan sp Sprocket fish. Toss it into the fish sack. Okay. Fish in a sack. Ooh, a crusty ring. We're getting everything around here. Another fish in a sack. Just sell it. Okay. Wait, it only says one. Rusty cola can. I'm gonna overfish this fucking place. Uncrossed. Wait, we can do that? Got Thunder Ring. Whoa. Makes it dangerous to be near you in combat. Oh, wait, what does the Inspiring Ring do? Mm, I think it's still better. And fish in a sack. Current value. Oh, it just increases the value. 15 damage to an enemy. Interesting. Okay, let me equip yeah, the Gauze Turban. Get another picture. Okay. Okay, and yeah, we have a new skill. Nice, nice, nice. Love to see. Alright, time to go. Strange discolored patch of curb. Significant magical and sewer energy. Collect a sample. Glowing ooze. Hmm. All right, we're back. Um, I tested your grenades, at least some of them. Uh, I should have used all of them, I guess. Stench armor. Hmm. Well, the helmet, we can get it another picture with it. I don't know what's up with the ra with the cigarettes, but. Maybe we can do something. We can sell the fish. Cavalry saber. Damage. Trench spork. Okay. Seems good enough. We have to go back here or Oliver? Yes, I don't like the sound of that. Oliver is gone. The handoff went extremely bad. Badly. Yeah, that too. Fans of the fish factory. Fancy Dan makes a variety of faces at various points in your story because Fancy Dan is a good listener. Show him the deed. Skims the deed. Hmm. Says here the ownership of the speakeasy is automatically transferred to whoever has physical possession of the fee deed. Is that legal? None of this is legal. Oh, yeah. Let's hear my new boss, baby. Let's have one drink to mourn your, the old boss and another one to celebrate. Good idea. To change the name since, well, Oliver's Place is no longer Oliver's Place. My ideas? Could go traditional, just call it Zach Fon's Place or something hip like the Purple Door. Something incisive and avant-garde like, I don't know, Noblesse Oblige. Noblesse oblige, it is. You're the boss. To business, to business. Make the beer in the house, so that's safe, but we are out of everything else, and based on your story, I'd say the stuff at the factory is unsafe to use. 
If you can find booze or mixers or garnishes, bring it back here. Any idea where to get started with that? No, but you might check with Barnaby. Barnaby? Milky Eye salt at the table by the wall. See very well, but he's got a nose for news and a sixth sense for booze. Find know where you can find what you're looking for. Okay... So he's Barnaby. In this essence, a lake is just a valley abandoned. Okay... Joyful places, joyful parts... Beat beneath the floorboards. Well, we're just repeating. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. Well, we got a pocket watch. That's what we were looking for. So, let's uncurse it, I guess. Is the cat still sleeping? Jesus. Lose something? Yeah, I seem to have misplaced my chuck key to my... The chuck key to my drill. What's a chuck key? It's a little twisty thing for tightening the chuck on the drill. And you already lost it? I haven't gotten too far. The cord on this thing got stuck in the outlet and it's not long enough for me to drill anything that isn't in this neighborhood. Okay, I'll go look for it. It's gonna be nearby. Just wander around. I'm sure it'll turn up. Not only a map label wonder that will have a random encounter without going anywhere. Also wonder about looking at the map by pressing space. Ah, yeah. Two goblins wearing shorts with suspenders and carrying, you know, those things, those marching band things. Upright harp, except instead of strings they have metal xylophone bars, those things. Anyway, these, these goblins are carrying those and interrupt you. What's up? You're intruding on the territory of the Glo Glockins. I don't know what a Glockin is. We are Glockins. We both. We are the strong, toughest of the street gangs in Ocean City. What do you think about it? I don't feel particularly threatened. What? That is totally incorrect. Like your cellophones, though. What? Cellophones? Those are Glockin spills that we have. Oh, Glockins. I get it now. I am so outraged over you. I think we have a shall. We shall a mugging do. Ooh! What if you mug each other? Okay! Well, I haven't even really started yet. Is Val our first mug bee? So it good, it is good to be practice. Oh, Val, you, your... Will me your wallet give. And will me your wallet give. Okay! Change wallets and shake hands. Our first day two mugs made. We must the boss tell around it. They will be so proud. Okay. Uh, public urinals, filled with ice cubes, frosty flakes. And we found Chuck's key. Nice. Okay, go back in the sound. Here it is. Where'd you find it? Under a bush. Yeah, probably that bush I was doing holes in the other day. What can I do for you? Nothing now, Charles. I found the watch. It was... Complicated. I'd be more surprised if you told me it was simple. Well, you know the drill. Strap it on and jump into the cursing machine. It's a pocket watch. It doesn't... Just uncurse the thing and get some sleep. Okay, you look like you've been through the ringer. I won't dispute that. So we have to equip it. Eww. Has the pocket watch up in this dome and begins the strange loud work. Wait, that... Oh, this way and that. It ticks and become kits and it's talks and cuts and says it's free hands that were firstly bent back you swear you hear screams and hands now set to 20 27 29 what skirts now resides within the machine i project your consciousness in it why not you see the hands of the pocket watch spin back themselves with jittery violence with each revolution the face of the watch itself expands until it's larger than you end the building and the street or is in the blur of the fast-running hands in which you see life go by in reverse time. Submarines turn to longships, cities to stone dwellings, cowboys to courtesans. To the beginning of time itself, and there's no telling when the ride will end. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I 
<laughs> we eat the cat. These two salad forks. Now you, no, you lack opposable thumbs to turn this return to our complete container here. Unless you figure out a way to open the door. I'm a dinosaur. Break the door down. I'm a big dinosaur. Doesn't make even make a dent. Maybe that's why the dinosaurs went extinct. They couldn't open doors. We could eat free muscles. Dinosaur, no phone number. Eat phone. Nom. Black phones, a ten die temper. Open door, eat Jessica, eat Charles, eat Gabby, eat cat. Come back here, cat! And stitch rug. How do we get the cat? Read a paper, read a book. Danger, strangeness afflicts thee, never mind. For the sun transits the horizon, I grow ever more in need of thy assistant. Sleep under this roof, thou art my lodger, a signature on this paperwork is by. Can you open these doors for me? <laughs> Sirs, for I do not believe these doors to be locked. Well, what do I know? Thou will find the telephone table, a key to satisfy thy need. When did you start talking like this? Remark, sir, and by thee well made. I don't have a key. Oh, so I've got y'all horns and rowls. Been dipping into those noise paint again? Gabby doesn't talk like that. Sure is hey. I'm a dinosaur! Quick as draw in the west. Can you open the door for me? I had to head for puzzles like once. It's got, got me right funkified. Hey, baby, we're all hungry. Please help, I'm a dinosaur. Yeah, baby, yeah. Is that Greta Galbert? Gar! Ah, oh, we got free dexterity. Nom. Ah! With free, we can uh, call around the knob only to find the drawer is locked. Ah! Pull all the drawers. Eat the table. Devour the entire table in a few quick bites. The key to the door now lies safe in the and sound in your stomach. Oops. I like the way Tick and Tay understand me. No. And that timepiece, a lot of power. Would you make a promise to me, baby? Which promise not to throw that power away? A lot of good can be done with that groovy power, baby. Charles doesn't call me, baby. Yeah, let's do it, man. Shake it on, baby. Nice. Gain more dexterity. I can read a book for even more dexterity and a paper for even more dexterity. Pounds carved the letter help into the chalkboard. More dexterity. Uh, sign your name? Sleep is all the more sweet for its legal correctitude. Open the door? What the fuck? So we meet at last, with I looking the older man, though you are far older than I shall ever be. I never saw this room before. The Alpha and the Omega, you, the beginning of time, and the I, its end. We walk with me, dear friend, to watch the death of our world and the birth of another. Roar. I guess that meant yes. Oh god. Tick, 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 the hands of the uncursed pocket watch beats on. Boats with the current born correctly into the future. You pull the pocket watch out, look at it, it's gained some luster. 
curse is lifted. <laughs> I wish I had a tail. I did it! Reduce an enemy muscle, mysticality, and moxie by five. Oh, that is way better now than what we had before. Hell yeah, we're gonna keep it. Uh, a letter from Uncle Omar was a real surprise. I didn't read it. What did he actually say? Basically, just ask if I could come and visit him because he needed help with something big and he knew I had an adventurous spirit. Venture some spirit, huh? Well, that's Mario, right? I haven't seen him in ages. I saw him at Crimbo and sometimes he came with us when we went camping in the summer, but after I moved on to go to the college, we kind of lost touch except for birthday cards. Dropped everything to come and see him. I wasn't carrying anything of value. It's a crappy desk job that I was sick to death of. Well, working here will definitely be more exciting than working at the desk. Yourself are working at the desk right now. Yeah, but you aren't taking over for me. You're taking over for Murray. Let's hope it's just a temporary gig. How is the helping find Murray? This is the problem of collecting these weird artifacts or anything, but I'm worried about Uncle Murray. How is this helping find him? It didn't really explain. See, the Dictatron on the Thousand is new, and we only really got it running after Mori disappeared. Search for artifacts in more hands-on ways. Research, networking, following rumors, that kind of thing. That's the artifact I went after. It could basically be anywhere, but the Dictatron only detects the nearest artifact. So figure if we pick them up in order, eventually we'll get the one that he was looking for. Right. Wish to hell he'd left a note about where he was going, but I guess he either... Was too dangerous and didn't want us following, or he just rushed off all excited like a kid in a toy store. That's Murray for you. Yeah, that tracks. Well, we're definitely going to end the episode. I just, I really want to pet this, this cat. And it's driving me bonkers. What the hell? Paper is a book of old postage stamp with a few missing. There sounded a haze of very weird shadowy energy, but you can still clearly see the illustration of cute dogs on them. Cute dogs? That's just like the stamp survived in the luggage fire. What destroyed your luggage fire? Our best stuff was in there, your clothes, your teddy bear, the tears. That tears it. This shadow business become personal. It was personal already because of Murray being your uncle and all, but now it's extra personal. Stamps have shadow gunk on them and one of them killed all my luggage. I guess that was my fault. I ran out of stamps and found those inside Murray's desk. I didn't even think to test them. I'm so sorry. Murray's causing this sh damn shadow stuff. I'm definitely gonna put a stop to it, though. How many of the stamps have you used? Just one, thankfully. The rest must have gone under... St must have already been gone when Murray found them. That's good news, at least. It's probably a new tenant for the storefront next door. Why is that up to me? Someone's got to do it. There's free application for the place. His advanced pants. It doesn't say what they plan on selling, but I assume it, that it's pants. The second is text instruments. Guy from Texas selling musical instruments. Oh, I can find jewelry. A jewelry store that could really class up old Punkett store. Um... The advanced pants. Thanks, Charles. Alright, well, in any case, we're definitely going to uh, end it over here. Uh, but yeah, another very cool episode, unfortunately without any chat interaction. But I'm sure people will watch it later on. In any case, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you have a like, subscribe to see more. I'll see you next time we're going to make. Yeah, stop working. Bye-bye.